Hello power users and welcome to the danger zone. In today's video we are going to take a look at Nextcloud and we will teach you how to change where shared files are stored in your folder. By default all files that are shared with you in Nextcloud are stored in your root folder. You may be familiar with this setup. You may be familiar with this setup already. This is your root folder with all your files and every time a file is shared with you it would then be added into this root folder which could lead to a very long list of files which could become a mess real quick. Yes you could move them into folders yourself but there is also a better and a faster way to manage this and that is what we're going to look at today. We can choose what folder Nextcloud will save the files to by changing the configuration file. The first step is to open the configuration file by using your favorite FTP client and editor. Personally, I am using FileZilla and Visual Code, but look for that file in your website. It will be in the config folder and it will be named config.php. Once you have that file open, you should be seeing something like me a bunch of settings that we have configured after installing the Nextcloud application. And what we have to do now is add another line. It is the last line that I have in my code which is share underscore folder and then the path to the folder that you want to save the files to. In my example the file will be saved in the folder shared slash shared by others. But of course you can choose your own path. You have to be careful here though because the path that you enter will be relative to each other. <coughs> you have to pay attention here because the path that you enter here will be relative to the root of a user folder. For example, in my example it will make a shared folder appear for every user. I will also show the configuration value on the screen, but don't forget to change it to the folder that you want to use personally. Now if you save your file, Nextcloud will be updated as we will see soon. But first I want to show you how we know how to add that value to the file. This may be interesting, but if that doesn't interest you, you can forward the next 30 seconds or so, I don't mind. YouTube minds, but I don't. Now if you open the file that you find in the config folder, the one called config.sample.php, you will find an empty config file which isn't quite empty. It is empty in the sense that there are no real values added there, well some are. But you will find a lot of configuration values in there. And basically the idea behind the sample file is to show you what configuration values you can set and to give you an explanation about them. And if you scroll all the way down to line 1663 you will find the share folder configuration value and the explanation it says define a default folder for shared files and folders other than root. Changes to this value will only have effect on new shares. So that is also something you have to Keep in mind if you have a bunch of files shared already, those will not be moved. Now as you see there are hundreds of lines in here. It may be interesting for you to read that file if you want to further tune your installation. It will be it is a lot of reading, but if you take a look at the document you will discover that there are hundreds of settings that you can configure which you won't find in the default file. You can do a little bit of homework and check out these configuration values and see if you find something interesting to further tune your installation. Now I promised you that I would show you what it looks like when a file is shared to your folder. I am going to share a file with myself off screen really quickly. Now if I refresh the screen after sharing a bunch of files with myself the shared folder should appear and we can see it here this is the shared folder which is new and we then have the shared by others folder I thought that was a good idea at the time 
And we can see the file that I just shared with myself, which is blue piano keys, blah, blah, blah. It is actually the power user guide logo. Of course, like I said, you can choose whichever folder path you want, whichever makes the most sense in your installation. Just add it to your config file and save it. And then you will no longer have to deal with a root folder that is stuffed to the brim with files that are shared with you. As we have seen, it is fairly easy to change the default folder where files are shared. All it takes is one line of code or a configuration value and you are set. I hope that this video helped you achieve what you want with Nextcloud. And until the next time we meet in the danger zone.